WWE Friday Night Smackdown was a big show this week. The most notable part came when Roman Reigns and The Rock addressed the audience and then made a massive WrestleMania challenge to Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. A moment that went a bit under the radar involved the SmackDown general manager Nick Aldis. He was speaking with the new Catch Republic's Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne backstage. The pair wanted to earn a rematch against the Judgment Day after believing Dominic Mysterio cost them the gold. Aldis didn't seem too interested in giving the pair what they wanted, but he did make an intriguing statement. He noted that he and the RAW general manager Adam Pearce have been talking about the undisputed WWE tag team titles and plan to make an announcement regarding it soon. Any announcement is intriguing. Just ask Tony Khan. This one could be particularly exciting, depending on what it ends up being. In this article, we will look at a handful of things Pearce and Aldis could announce in regard to the prize titles. Below are four things Nick Aldis and Adam Pearce's big announcement can be following WWE SmackDown. Number 4. They could announce a tournament to determine the Judgment Day's next challenges at WWE WrestleMania 40. The most obvious and potentially likely announcement is that a new tournament will be held. Nick Aldis and Adam Pearce could collectively put together 8 to 10 tag teams from WWE Raw and SmackDown who could partake. From there, the winning team could then go on to compete against the Judgment Day's Finn Balor and Damian Priest at WWE WrestleMania 40. This would be the most fair way of crowning new number one contenders. Teams such as Imperium, The New Day, The Good Brothers, Indus Sher, and The Creed Brothers could also be in. NXT general manager Ava could even find a way to slide in Malik Blade Edris Anofe or the family into the tournament. Number 3. Adam Pearce and Nick Aldis could introduce a redesigned set of titles. While a tournament would certainly be exciting, they just had a mini-tournament of sorts to crown the number one contenders for the undisputed WWE tag team titles at the Elimination Champa, Perth PLE. That short tournament is how the new Catch Republic earned a shot at the gold. There's a chance that Triple H, Nick Aldis, and Adam Pearce would NT want to dip their toes back into such a similar announcement so soon. Instead, it could be less about contenders and more about the gold itself. The two GMs could reveal a major change. The undisputed WWE tag team titles could be officially unified permanently. This would then lead to the reveal of a new pair of tag team belts. Instead of carrying around four titles, Finn and Damian would just have a standard set of two newly designed titles. Number 2. They could announce another big-time WrestleMania Fatal 4-Way match. WWE WrestleMania 39 was an epic show, and one of the highlights came in a Fatal 4-Way tag team match. Nobody expected this match to go quite as hard as it did. The bout became an instant classic in many circles. The four teams featured included Ricochet Braun Strowman, The Street Profits Angelo Dawkins Montez Ford, Alpha Academy's Otis Chad Gable, and the Viking Raiders Eva Eric. Titus O'Neil was a guest on commentary, and he was shocked at the spectacle while also adding to the magic. Given the success of the first one, WWE may want to bring the concept back again this year. Adam Pearce and Nick Aldis could announce that another fatal four-way match will take place this year, and the Judgment Day will be involved with their titles on the line. Number 1. The Unified Raw SmackDown Tag Team titles could finally be split. The previously mentioned concept of the undisputed WWE Tag Team titles being fully unified is certainly possible, but it isn't the ideal option. In fact, it likely isn't a decision most fans would want to see made. It'll be the opposite, in fact, as the audience would likely oppose this move. 
Instead, Nick Aldis and Adam Pearce could finally separate the belts. They could make the Judgment Day defend the Raw Tag Team titles and the SmackDown Tag Team titles independently. This could even lead to the titles being renamed, following a similar naming structure to the men's and women's world titles. This could even begin with WrestleMania, the Judgment Day could potentially battle DIY one night and New Catch Republic on the following night. Could Finn and Damian compete in back-to-back -back title defenses? It would be an interesting twist.